is New World saved? That's the question that I'm going to be putting to Danny. Danny has had early access to, well, Brimstone Sands, and we've all seen that it looks pretty incredible. And Danny, if you don't know, is a Twitch streamer and fellow YouTuber. There will, of course, be links in the description below. But Danny, first question is, how are you? And hello. <laughs> My mate, I'm good. I mean, the, the day of recording has been a long day, so I'm tired. It's been a, it's been an epic sort of hype day. So yeah, that's I'm, good. I'm I'll good get though, all man. the I'm... secrets out of you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can ask what you want. Yeah, no, it's, I'm, I'm very good, man. I'm very good. It's good, good to be chatting, mate. Well, without further ado i'll jump into my first question what do you think is the most important feature in this new update oh, um there, there was genuinely a couple of features that i didn't know were coming um and i think that are gonna make the game spicy i guess sort of moving forward feature led i think uh heart gem runes which i'm dubbing sort of the ultimate ability i think they're the biggest feature um but i i, I do think uh, just the visual changes around you know everfall monarchs and then of course brimstone just looking amazing i don't know if you can class that as a feature but that that is extremely awesome and i think that's a sort of a great addition to the game but yeah heart gem runes as a feature i think uh, are going to be a bit of a game changer fair enough and the next question here is how much of a step up in quality now that you've actually spent some time with it i think it was about an hour and a half how much yeah. of a step up in quality would you say brimstone sands is in comparison to well let's not say the the updated zones obviously the normal zones um it, it's such a tough question because the uh, i sort of gave a like a genuine honest opinion at the end uh, when i went through everything and in, in quality i don't think much has changed so new world has always been very good with the visuals it's been very good with the sound design and that that mirrors with brimstone they've just made it sandy <laughs> and turned it into a sandy zone so quality wise i don't i don't think there's been a step up i don't think they've gone gone away and said actually we need to make this much better what they have done i think is tried to make it a, a bit more unique if that makes sense so bringing scorpions in uh, bringing mobs in that makes sense to brimstone that's been very cool but quality wise and like in my opinion nothing's changed nothing sort of shouted out to me like oh my god this is new and this is amazing it's sort of yeah same, same. so to me i would say now you can sort of correct me if i'm wrong uh, but basically it sort of feels similar to say weak water and ebb and scale reach because those were the zones that they sort of did towards the tail end of development and those were yep. the zones that sort of showed the true like uniqueness of what they could actually do and it looks like they've sort of taken that and then maybe a little bit like a step further because of the amount of unique mobs or something like that, that so it sort of feels like an extension of those kind of zones rather than obviously like a copy paste of Morningdale and Windswood. Yeah 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 I, 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 I yeah, absolutely agree with that I think when if we were going to sort of step up quality imagine if there was parts of the sand dunes that were deeper than others and when you walked through them your player got kind of stuck and you could see the footprints going through the sand that's the kind of stuff that strangely i think would be really cool when you see these types of things in red dead redemption and stuff i think if we were going to step up quality that's the kind of weird things i'd like to see you know maybe sand dust blowing away uh, blowing around a bit more and things like that so yeah it's sort of the same quality but like the best version of that quality if that makes sense just feels it feels new and feels fresh and that always does feel good but yeah same same quality just a little bit of a step up yeah and you mentioned it before um and i can never remember the actual name of this but to be fair i only learned it today the new rune system that seems to be the progression for this zone because one of my worries before this zone came out we heard that there wasn't going to be an increase in gear score and i was like well if we're not getting an increase in gear score quite frankly why should i even bother going well yeah. this rune system to me seems to be probably the key thing now, i know you've mentioned about gems but i think this rune system and the ability that sounds truly like the reason do you have any insight into the progression or was it just because you got given you know all of the ultimate versions of the ultimate ability mate i'm a terrible content creator i don't know <laughs> no <laughs> no um what happened is is it was kind of like the ptr so they give you a box i opened the box ding, 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 ding. all these beautiful uh, new runes appeared and i was like what are these um i didn't really get a chance to do some proper digging to see if we need to craft them or whether they're dropped i'm going to assume that they're somewhat crafted um and i like you say i really hope that you have to use something that you gather within brimstone sands to be able to craft this so people can't like you say people need to have a reason to go there these could be it but yeah that is something i really need to spend a bit more time on and figure that out but i really hope it's, it's is what you said and then just a quick overall well <laughs> not an overall comment just a basic comment here on the great axe not the great axe the great sword and sword. the new expedition the iniad yep. you tried both of those things out like what were you just general 
vibes. Uh, great, great sword was freaking awesome. Like genuinely awesome. Definitely felt quite overtuned. I managed to have a duel with Scythe and I was in heavy. He was in light. And for the last six months of my game time, I've just been getting my butt kicked as heavy. You know, it's, I can win some, but the majority is a loss. And I gave him the old wombo combo. Bam, got him, you know, just, just took him down in light. And it felt really powerful in heavy. I do think they need to tune things and, you know, essentially balance stuff. But the great sword felt freaking amazing, man. I think you guys, you're going to love it. I think, you know, everyone watching is going to love it. It feels smooth. It feels like it's meant to be in the game, if mm -hmm. that makes any sense. Well, you know, um, I'm, a, I'm a heavy user and, um, yeah. well, they did talk about possibly, you know, heavy and light changes in the future. I'm presuming they didn't give too much away with that. But, um, yeah, good beefy boy, you know, great sword. I mean, I could compare this, I could what, combine it with a great axe, great sword. Just be purely great, you know? Fantastic. Yeah. Well, what about uh, the, the, the new expedition? Sorry, you can talk about what you were going to say in a minute, but then can you talk about about the Inead itself? Yeah, absolutely. I was just going to say on the heavy light discussion, there was sort of some off the cards type chats that it's... <laughs> It's still definitely happening. There's, it's still on the cards. It's still something that they're actively working on. I said to him, like, what's happening? What's happened about heavy and light? And is it happening in this patch? And, um, you know, things are being discussed. I'm hoping that we start to get to see see things on the on the PTR around it. But nothing has been confirmed. But it is happening and they are looking into it. So for us, that's a pretty cool thing. The new expedition, I don't really get excited by PvE. It's it's something that I, I feel like I PvE to end up PvPing at some point. But genuinely, with three of us going through it, um, we had the heart gem runes. We had, you know, new things, new feeling. It was kind of like barnacles and black powder for me. Visually fantastic. Some new mobs in there. There definitely was some reskins going on, which I'm not, I'm not offended by it um, <laughs> because they had new stuff alongside it, you know. So they were recycling things with new skins, but also had some brand new mobs. So it, was, it genuinely felt good to actually run it. And there was new mechanics, new mechanics on the bosses, new mechanics. I don't know if you saw in the footage, there was sort of this triangle diamond thing floating around that was sort of on a patrol. That was brand new. And if you get close to it, it laser beams you. And it just mm. felt genuinely good. Three bosses instead of two. Um, and you're inside an awesome, massive pyramid that can be seen across the whole, you know, of Brimstone Sand. So yeah, it, I wonder, it was a good feeling. I wonder if they're going to tie that in with the progression for that boon system. I wonder, because I agree with you. Like when you give me a new expedition, my thoughts are, why would I run that? Because yeah. at the minute, I'm not really that bothered about having more umbo shards for the sake of having umbo shards and if you're talking about gear well gear sort of ever changing and yeah what might be like really good one week might not be that good the next week i'm like oh, can i really be bothered that's generally yeah. my question so we'll have to wait and see what maybe they've put the runes in that expedition you know that could be something they've done and uh, yeah. you know we'll find out but the one other thing you had the chance to speak to one of the developers dave i can't remember his second name but it is what it is Verify, um, verify <laughs> something like you that go. you had a chance to speak to him and uh, one of your questions is one of your I, I call it a bugbear but the pvp faction missions in new world are yeah. pretty bad <laughs> like i mean <laughs> there's not really much else to really say about it and it sort of sounded like you 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 had personally suggested something and what they were suggesting sort of sounded similar to what you had suggested yeah yeah so probably well when they first released the new pvp missions because they were different back in the day i actually had an opportunity to ask david and i i basically told him the pvp missions were trash and what are they going to do about it and they actually responded back then and said well we quite like the missions so it was really um nice and uh, I, I, nice it was just genuinely nice to hear that they were looking into making them better because you know after so many months now i think they realize or there's been a lot more feedback more than just mine that the pvp missions are essentially pve missions where you just flag pvp and it and on paper it makes sense but yeah sorry for going off a bit track there yes uh, a while ago, we suggested to use the system that's in place, which is the faction control points, and potentially use them as a way to have a pre-war war, which everyone can get involved in. And yeah, in short, they kind of said faction control points are something they're looking into and something that they like and potentially been able to use that for PvP missions. Uh, and, and what that entails, we don't know. There was no, no specific details, but they're looking into that. And I remember talking about it. I've talked about it loads, maybe like 100 times over the last few months on different streams. And, uh, you know, we've spoken about it a lot as well. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty hyped that they've acknowledged that pre-war PvP missions are not where they need to be. Very it cool. is 
a shame because it feels like a perfect opportunity to actually instigate world PvP. Like, yeah. at, at the minute, uh, you, people just die, don't really bother defending them because it's like, well, we'll just beat you in the war, basically. Like, let's not really stress <laughs> yeah. too much about it. And one thing that gets me is when they introduced the change to the PvP missions, in my eyes, they made them worse. They made it more tortuous to actually then run the faction influence bar up. It, they didn't make it more enjoyable in any real like way, shape or form. Yes, it sort of makes sense to be like, oh, you've now got to go PvP, but you can't force people to defend. And I appreciate that. Like That's obviously going to be a problem if you have no defenders, but you cannot force people to defend. Therefore, if yep. you make a mission that requires people to participate, if they just don't participate, it weirdly slows you down. So the best course of action, if you are defending, is to not defend, which is a bit of a weird system, but you know, hopefully we'll do something. So we'll see what happens. Does this update save New World, and does it need saving? Now, I've already have a little spoiler to this because I saw your video, and uh, you basically answered this question, but I'll let you answer it here. Um, uh, yeah. So in, in, in uh, I don't think New World needs saving. I had a, I had a a, a, co a question that I asked David was, is New World making enough money con to continue develop development? Uh, the answer was that the, the there wasn't really an answer he couldn't give me their their books and tell me how much profit they're making but what he did say was is new world is going to continue to be developed like there is time here there is ha things happening next year and at the moment they're very content with the way the game is there's enough players in the game for them to test things to try things out to make sure that the game is where it needs to be so in essence yeah the game doesn't need saving but i think brimstone sands is really laying down sort of the foundations for where they want the game to be moving forward now uh i won't go too deep into this i guess but we are so many of us in the community said if brimstone sands isn't the update to save the game we're all gone like, see you later we're leaving um but i do genuinely think that there's enough in brimstone for people to either come back to the game and experience the game from fresh again with new characters or for con like current players who explore brimstone um test the heart gem runes play of the great sword um the new gem potential legendary gathering there's, there's there's a lot of things there for us to sort of get our teeth into and the biggest thing that they haven't really spoke about yet which is on the current roadmap is the leaderboards and if they can bring leaderboards out this year i think new world is in a really good place ready for future development yeah as a non-competitive player the leaderboards don't interest me <laughs> really uh, all that much at the minute how but... about something like imagine you're in a company and you see something along the lines of how many who cut the most trees or who fished the most salmon or you know some fun leaderboards not just who is the best player let's say or who's made the most money but something along like a yeah, fun yeah i think they would be cycle. fun i can see how there's a lot of positives to the leaderboard for sure especially if they do stuff like that that would really take it to the next level rather than just like the amount of wars won by company i'd be like oh it's nice yeah. but i mean who cares not, yeah. yeah like i'm not really that bothered about it <laughs> really depends on who who's was on your server and stuff like that so yeah there's yeah. Uh, definitely some interesting stuff there i personally don't think brimstone sands is the make or break patch i don't necessarily think it's the update that will affect the whole game as a whole now yeah. it's sure it'll affect some people because some people have already said you know if it's bad i'm off kind of thing <laughs> but i've said before that really i think when we get to a paid expansion and every time i mention paid expansion my comments are like there's going to be a paid expansion i'm like yeah oh but it's going to probably like in a year and <laughs> at all like don't worry about it just yet but for me once they do an expansion once the gear score cap gets increased that's when we'll know if they are going to change any of the systems that are flawed there's only so much you can tweak during like a cycle basically there's only yes they can get rid of mutation orbs and stuff like that but for me uh, the the expansion will be my make or break if they don't have the right kind of changes or the right direction there i'll probably be like okay that's this isn't for me kind of thing but to be fair now that they're talking about the territory control and they're talking about well they mentioned crafting but not enough detail for my liking but now that yeah. they're actually saying some of the right things i'm like okay they'll actually get these fixed before an expansion and may, if they fix it before the expansion the expansion will just bring people back and that'll be the true moment so yeah. the next and probably final question here will be did you get a sense that amazon are going to actually turn this around so i don't think the game's dead either but do you get the sense that brimstone sands is actually going to be the kind of level of quality we're going to see and that's going to be enough for people for this game to actually start properly growing oh man what a question oh shit um 
I think from what we saw at launch of Amazon to where we see them now, they've kind of evolved as a team as well. I think if if they if we were in a similar state where we were, I don't know, four months ago, I probably would turn around right now and just say, no, I'm terrified. I think the game's going to go. I've invested so much time and effort as a creator into this game and they're going to flop it. It's, it's done. It's, it's, they're crap. But I do genuinely think recently they've made some pretty amazing changes. So I think I think they can do a good job of it. I do. And I don't know why I'm saying that because I have been <laughs> giving them <laughs> shit for the last 12 months. I have. I've been laying into them and, and sort of, you know, saying it how it is. But seeing them speaking to David like, you know, sort of firsthand, they do gen... I think from a business point of view, they need it to succeed um, because this is Amazon's first big game. I think people quote unquote say that it's 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 a failure already. So it's important for them to bring it back. The fact that, you know, we, we, you've seen it as well, that they're looking to create another IP or another MMO within Amazon. If New World doesn't make its way back, then that's going to be a failure moving forward on those as well. And people are going to sort of have a really bad impression. So I think there's two things. Yes, I do think the team there can turn it around. I think they've made some good changes. I would like to see more mechanics coming into the game and I'd like to see more features and all that sort of stuff. We won't get into it, but I, I think it's possible. I think they can do it. And I think from a business point of view, Amazon needs to see it succeed. And again, uh, probably won't get into it right now, but there's rumors of them wanting to expand, you know, their Amazon studios. They can't do that if New World fails. I think they can do it. I think they need to do it. And I think they, they genuinely want to see it succeed from an individual point of view and a business point of view. Sorry, waffling on a bit there. No, but no, it's all good. And I, <laughs> yeah. one thing that I was, uh, I think one reason we get on and uh, I like your opinions and stuff like that is whenever I see people in your Twitch chat we'll get people who will be like telling you you're like high on copium you're like too positive about the game but then literally five minutes later people will be like why are you always so negative about the game and I I, I literally get that all the time sometimes and it's um, and I always say to them well I'm going to call out the things that are bad and the yep. things that are good I'm going to call out and like it's just that simple and at the start of the game there was quite a few things that went pear shaped it just is what it is right <laughs> Yeah. So we'll see if they manage to turn it around in the long run. But um, I have to say, it's been a pleasure having you. Do you have any, I was going to say final words. I mean, it really sounds like really like drastic, but I will, be putting, well, links, <laughs> I will be putting links in the description to Twitch's, uh, Danny's Twitch channel and his YouTube channel, which by the way, he's just dropped like four or five videos about Brimstone Sand. So if you want even more information about it there, please go and check out his YouTube channel. But yeah, I'll let you say uh, your final piece. Yeah, no man, it's, it, it's been great. I mean, before we started recording, we kind of made mentioned that I think this is we haven't really spoke before so it's been amazing chatting with you um uh, guys that are watching yeah uh, I guess I kind of hang in there with New World not not for me not for Jay but I think genuinely the game is fun I'd like to see them succeed and I think if you have an opinion on it put it in the comments put it in Twitch chat put it on the forums because the more we sort of say what we want they do seem to be listening they do so um I didn't get paid to say any of this <laughs> someone in my comments was like like, oh, how much did you get paid to go to London? And I was like, dude, I, I bloody paid money to go there and see this. So, uh, no, I do want to see it succeed, and I, I do have a really good time playing it. And I think, I think if the community wasn't as good as it is, I would have left a long time ago. So, yeah, credit to you, credit to all your viewers, and uh, yeah, hopefully some more good times, man. Yeah, well, the new update Brimstone Sands looks incredible. As I said, if you want more information, do check out Danny's uh, YouTube channel, or you can catch him live on Twitch most, uh, well, week. Well, I was gonna say weekday days, but it's actually all day. It's just nearly every day at this point. Yeah. <laughs> so, just uh, pretty much every day. Uh, there's a, the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching and have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.